uh, this is module one of IT 101 uh, discussion, video discussions. Uh, so th this is entitled Introducing Today's Technologies, Computers, Devices, and the Web. Start to tackle uh, laptops, tablets, desktops, and servers, um, the, the differences of these devices. We look into the purpose and uses of smartphones and other devices, other digital devices. Uh, we'll also look into the relationship of data and information, various input uh, and differentiate web from the internet, describe the relationship of web to web page, to website and web servers. We look into the purpose of browser, search engine, and also uh, social networking sites. We look into the um, uh, overview of uh, security risks like virus and other malware, privacy, uh, and also issues on health in the environment. Uh, we look into, we'll differentiate an operating system to an application software. Also, we'll differentiate wire to wireless network. We'll discuss how society uses technology, especially nowadays in education, government, finance, retail, entertainment, healthcare, science, travel, publishing, manufacturing. And we'll identify technology used by home users. Uh, Soho, so small office, home office, mobile users, power users, and enterprise users. So we'll start with. Okay, like nowadays, no, we we are experiencing no the the importance of technology. Um, just now, doing this video discussion, I just attended Zoom session with the uh, uh, <clears throat> with the private elementary schools with there's this parent parent. Uh, teachers meeting no? and then they've discussed the tools that they are to use um, in conducting online classes there's the class tag there's the google classroom okay so like right now we can see how um, important especially in these times of pandemic how important uh, technology is okay uh, they will have our zoom session like you think pros okay uh, and cons of technology uh, advantage and disadvantage especially uh, in this uh, trying times and especially in these times of pandemic okay we'll uh, have a discussion on that during our zoom session so like right now everyone is so forced to be really computer literate okay uh, there Okay, so computer literacy and digital literacy, like nowadays, is very important. Very important that we are well versed with computers, cause um, obviously nowadays, eh, computers are um, are uh, considered as an essential tool. Okay. So I have here some uh, pictures where. Uh, we uh, use phones, laptops, tablets, okay, TV, so on and so forth. Uh, think of also, we'll have in a Zoom session, um, those tools, common tools that you uh, used. Uh, application software, for example, or a mobile app uh, that you usually used. Okay, I'd like to know that and we'll have it during our Zoom session. How do we define computer? I just uh, uh, I remember I I have seen a definition of computer in a Kinder to book, and it says computer is a device that computes. That's uh, uh, simple as it is, and it's true, right? In the history, uh, let's say an abacus, okay, it's not elect. Electronic, it's, a, it's not an electronic device, it's a mechanical device, and it's considered as computer. But in the history of computers, like they say, nga, stones, there are books that even said that the first computing computer is our stones used by those Java man. Okay, but there are books that said na first computing device is the abacus. Okay, eh, Chinese use abacus, abacus to do some to do computations. If you remember, it was discussed during your elementary days. Okay, elevating the definition of computer is uh, we define it as an electronic device 
that has these three basic components the input the process and the output okay so a, a computer is usually a device that um, accepts data processes it and um, outputs it or produce an information um, useful to us to humans I have here some pictures different variety of computers of course we have yung laptop we have tablets netbook palm top okay I'm not sure I don't have yung palm top but then the, I have this desktop uh, <coughs> excuse there are those desktop na nowadays na all-in-one. Yung most screen na lang. So very thin na itong, So very thin na yung system unit. I like this one. All-in-one. Okay. Um, and then servers. Okay. We usually hear this term servers. You know, server is also a computer. Just like this one. Okay. Um, it's, it's look is different. But it's a computer. Uh, usually when you buy a server, it doesn't have any like like with the desktop or personal computer it has you it has a keyboard and a mouse what it has is just like a system unit okay and then place inside the rack a cabinet rack okay um it also has operating system there are uh uh operating system that is suited for to to act as a server like windows server 2012 or linux okay so uh server uh, a server device okay like the ones you see here these are the ones suitable to uh, store uh, those uh, information uh, information or information for um, uh, for uh, services for for those app, um, applications that use that um, uh, offer services that's the right word that offer services okay uh example let's say mapua.edu.ph so it's a web server okay so there are lots of information there in that web server so there is a suitable hardware uh, there's a right appropriate hardware uh to place uh your web server say the mapua.edu.ph and that is this server if you other servers uh, uh, server types you have email accounting uh, email services file transfer server services or servers so on and so forth i have here a list of different mobile devices i suppose we are familiar with this no smartphone camera portable digital media player before like ipad right ipad uh what else that's the only thing i know okay my digital media player we have the kindle ebook reader okay uh and then wearable devices my bluetooth and then game devices say playstation so how do we define data data is the um uh, is the is what the computer understands it's how data is Okay, so data serves as the input. Okay, so a computer usually processes data and then converts it into an information understandable by, by human. So again, we differentiate a data to an information. Again, data is the one being processed by the computer and the output of this processed data, we call that as an information. Keyboard. Okay, I suppose you're well aware of the keyboard. A keyboard so think of is a keyboard input output or a process device it was discussed to you during even your even during your elementary days okay we'll discuss that during our zoom session uh, our laptop desktop has keyboard keyboard there's also virtual keyboards right in a keyboard it consists contains keys keys may be a letter number special character functional keys uh, very important you're well aware of the different classification of these keys in the keyboard Okay, yung mga numeric keypad, like with the desktop, uh, yung nga, functional keys, the numbers, the letters, special characters, the cursor, the arrow up pala, yung mga arrow keys. Okay, there. And, uh, again, I just discussed this a while ago about the key, the data and information. Okay, the moment that we type a key in the keyboard, uh, so there is that data accepted by our computer 
it will be processed and then uh, displayed on the screen so what we see in the screen is the information and then we have another input device pointing device like mouse and touchpad okay like mouse the mouse has there's different types of mouse there's mechanical there's optical uh, again pointing device or input device allows a user to control a small symbol on the screen uh, that represents that, that's what the mouse and the touchpad controls we call it as the pointer okay um, also some mobile devices enables us to speak data instruction using voice input okay the, these are very important for those ano, yung mga PWDs, especially for the blind if there's like voice inputs uh, in the in the computer that they are using so in here we have another input device uh, microphone no our our phones of course um, of course has built-in microphones actually there are laptops no that has also built-in microphones um, there okay but ha um, um, having an, an, an having a your to buy a, a, a microphone a headset that has microphone there are microphones that has much better features like nowadays with the zoom no uh, one features that I appreciate much with microphones is the noise cancellation I just conducted zoom sessions a lot uh, during these times no so um, it helps that if your microphone has noise cancellation because um, the uh, microphone only picks up audio that is uh, um, like in the in this case my voice so if there's a dog barking there's a tricycle that uh, goes in while having the zoom session eh, uh, it the microphone do not pick up these kinds of noise and then we have scanner so it's a sensing input device converts printed text and images into a form that the computer can process okay uh, there are printers that have scanners right there are those that has 3 and one has a photocopy a scanner at the same time printer uh, output devices sample of output device one popular is the printer there are different types of printers uh, there's the laser jet test jet uh, there's a 3d printer okay there's a printer designed to print you know tarpaulins uh, and other paper sizes there are printers there are photo printers there are printers that are designed to print photo uh, or accepts photo paper so again one popular output device is a printer so i have here some pic uh, picture of a printer and display okay Ma monitor screen um uh, which is also another output device that these are devices that conveys text graphics and video information and then another output device are speakers okay uh i appreciate nowadays yung mga soundbar okay An example ng mga speaker i just bought one same brand i find the quality okay okay uh, to think that it's uh, an uh, affordable one okay uh, during our zoom session I'd like to know the different input output devices you have okay uh, we'll discuss that during our zoom sessions and then another important component that our computer has is the memory um, like RAM and ROM okay very important is the RAM so it is in the memory where instructions our computer consists of programs in these programs there are a set of instructions so these are stored in the memory okay memory usually has smaller capacity there's a much more device that, ha that can store much much larger capacity and we call it as a storage device like a hard drive okay or a solid state drive so yeah they these these are the two import um, a popular uh, storage device we have hard drive hard disks and solid state drive and later the latest um, technology for storage is the solid state drive and there is even a move uh, that hard drives are to be replaced it will become obsolete someday and to be replaced by solid state drives solid state drives one example of that is your flash drive flash drives 
Okay, these, these are solid state drives. Very small, very small. Uh, usually, they, the, the data is stored in a chip, not like in a hard drive, it's stored in a disk. Okay, so um, that's the advantage of solid state drive. Can, um, it can store, uh, let's say, a, a terabyte just like with a hard drive, but the, it's much portable, it's, the, the size is much smaller as compared to a hard drive. There, so again, popular example of, um, popular example of solid state drives is yung flash drive. There are also memory cards that are uh, of solid state drives. Another storage is yung optical disk, but nowadays nga it is about to be replaced because of the concept of the cloud computing. The the cloud computing is a technology where uh, the the move is to place all services, whether hardware or software, in the internet. Like nowadays, I notice, like you in your generation, my generation X, Y, Z, we don't bring flash drives anymore, physical flash drives anymore, because there's Google Drive, there's OneDrive. We we store it there. From the phone, we can access this cloud um, uh, services. We can access this Google Drive. And this is where we store, we usually store our uh, files. So this ends part one. I hope to see you in part two of this lesson one. Thank you.